Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryrie. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video, before we jump into it, I want to go ahead and address a few things. Uh, I thought the first video went pretty well that I put out. I've gotten good reviews from friends and family. Um, there was a slight issue, copyright issue, with the song I used in the beginning, and that won't be happening again. So I ask for your guys' patience because until I invest in a laptop and decent editing software, which will happen in a few weeks, uh, the music throughout my videos and the intros will kind of be boring and plain. So I just wanted to go ahead and apologize for that ahead of time. And that's it. Let's go ahead and jump into this unboxing video. All right, so technically this is actually the um, second unboxing video. Uh, the first one I had made somehow got deleted. So I'm kind of undoing it. So this is not the first unboxing. It came with a little H&R sticker that honestly I thought was junk. So I just threw it on a freaking fridge. Um, that's the only thing that's not in the box that was originally in the box. Um, obviously this is the box it comes in. Um, let's see. Right here, part number 50888. It says Dodge Challenger. They're pretty much same suspension as far as I know. Obviously the box probably sat in the warehouse for a little bit. It's got a few holes. I don't know if that's from um, Red Lines shipping department or regular shipping. I don't really care, they're springs. So first glance on top, it's got these right here. A little transparent folder. Comes with an orange, uh, an orange little pamphlet, technical informational pamphlet. Um, gives you notes for springs, tells you how they're labeled. Uh, I thought this was cool. It uh, has you take a stock ride height measurement and then after measurement. Um, shows you how you should measure it. Personally, I don't like that way. I like to measure from the top of the rim to the wheel well. I think it's just a little easier, a little more accurate. So in here, on the left page, it's got a bump stop information, spring kit installation notes. Um, as far as I know, I don't need bump stops from all the research I've done. If I do, I'll, it'll suck, but I'll have to redo it and put some bump stops in. Um, the uh, cup kit, coilover installation notes over here, and uh, Mercedes-Benz must do something funky if, uh, if they get their own section. <laughs> So next off in here, when I first saw this the first time, I was like, what is this? So uh, they're actually spacers called Track Plus. I assume it's a brand made by uh, um, H&R. But give you a quick little look at each page. Feel free to pause it if you are interested in those, I guess. Again, Track Plus. I like spacers. I have no issue with them, but I don't really, I'm not going to need them for the charger if my wheel fitment's correct. Next stop is a warranties and claims paper. Hopefully, I'll never need to use that. Uh, safety procedure bulletin and uh, pretty obvious right there never work under a vehicle supported only with a jack I know a lot of people do it's whatever um, initial thoughts on the springs they're purple 
which is cool, I guess. Um, I'm assuming the big ones are front. Yeah, F for front. So, 100% made in Germany. H and R and slash Q. I don't know what that means. 50888. That's the part number again. Front. And then the rears are significantly a little heavier. But they essentially say the same thing. 100% made in Germany. H and R and slash Q. Again, the part number 50888 and R for rear. So, my initial thoughts on the Sprigs are, I mean, they'll work. <laughs> uh, I believe they advertise 1.7 inches in the front and 1.4 inches of drop in the rear. And I'm really hoping that that's true. <laughs> um, like, I hope it settles to be about that. Not too much lower and definitely not higher. But, um... Otherwise, yeah, that's it. My only slight issue, it does not bug me, but it, I know it may bug some of you guys. Uh, obviously, there's some, they were dusty, but they got some kind of defects in the paint. It doesn't bother me, they're springs, but it may bother some of you guys. So, anyways, yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification button, leave a comment. Anything you guys do helps a bunch. Also, if you're on Instagram, you can find me as scatdaddy underscore 392.co. Go ahead and give me a follow and check out all the pictures and videos I got. Thank you.